Well, to U.S. politics now, and in less than an hour, the U.S. President Joe Biden will outline his vision for the future in his State of the Union address. Joining us live is Simon Jackman, political scientist and professor at the University of Sydney. Simon, good to see you. Thanks for your time. What sort of tone are you expecting from the President next hour? What will you be looking for, at, for in his speech today? Oh dear, oh dear, where to start? Um, this is a American president who, if recent polls are to be believed, enjoys less than majority support inside his own party. A few polls in recent weeks showing that more than 50% of Democrats or less than 50% of Democrats think uh, Joe Biden uh, should seek a second term. So he's got to reassure his own party, project confidence virility, stability, uh, that he is not too old for the huge job in front of him, number one. Uh, he's got a story to tell about the economy, that it's getting better despite what you may be feeling around the dining room table and the kitchen tables of America. He's got a great set of job numbers to talk about, although the inflation story in the US, like Australia, uh, remains, remains very troubling. And the other big issue, of course, is this balloon from China that has thrust um, not just the Ukraine conflict as foreign policy agenda item number one, but, but I think really interestingly from Australian interests, uh, a point of view reflecting Australian interests, China is now firmly back in the frame. Uh, the spectacle of that balloon over the United States in the last week has certainly galvanized the American public opinion, a huge wake up to the American public that international relations is something that touches them at home, uh, and in particular that China uh, is a force to be reckoned with. And there's no way Biden's speech uh, will not be touching uh, on that as well. Yeah, those recent events certainly giving him some fresh material to work with for the speech, no doubt about that. What about domestic <laughs> issues, Simon? Of course, it's all about economy, uh, the debt ceiling again, a big issue in US politics. Yeah, so, so look, I expect there will be a line putting the Republicans on notice that they need to get their act together and, and the House to pass um, uh, the debt ceiling, uh, get that vote through. They've got until June to get that done. It's an extremely tricky vote. For Kevin McCarthy, the Republican speaker, who will be framed behind over the shoulder of Joe Biden. It, it, it won't be Nancy Pelosi. It'll be Kevin McCarthy in what is a big night for him as well. He's got to project that he's the adult in the room. And, and remember Nancy Pelosi ripping up one of Donald Trump's speeches in State of the Union's gone by. I think McCarthy will be at pains to demonstrate he's the adult. Uh, let his caucus uh, make, make the noise from the floor of, of the chamber as Biden makes his speech. Uh, but I think Biden will want to be not too aggressive on that. I think he'll want to project that he's presidential, he's above politics, he'll be wanting to emphasize issues that play well for him. He'll give the Republicans a bit of a touch up on that. L on the domestic side, though, with a view to his own troubles inside the Democratic caucus, look for uh, some talk about gun control, about uh, police reform, see what he's able to inject into the speech on some issues that I think will play very well uh, in the left uh, of American politics, a constituency he needs to pay some attention to just as much as he needs to be playing uh, to middle America tonight. Plenty to look out for. Simon Jackman, always appreciate your analysis. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Thank you.